it is common when you learn to quilt not to realize what's happening on the back of your quilt. So the way you start and stop your stitching line is really important. So I thought that I would teach how to do it. So the first thing you do is you hold your top thread and you take one stitch and then you move your machine away and it will pull up the bobbin. So you want to hold on to the bobbin and then you're going to come back to that place and take several stitches so that it's secure. And then you can start stitching. There are a few different ways to take those stitches to secure it. Um, right here at the start, I did it manually with the button and I did half stitch, half stitch and I repeated that several times. You could also push, if you have lightning stitch, on the tie off and it will take three or four or however many stitches you have programmed. So that's what I've done now. Now you need to, so I've tied it off first. This is to stop the line of stitching. Tied it off with several stitches so it's secure. I move it away and what I'm doing is I'm creating this tail. On the bottom side, I'm also creating a tail. That gives me something to pull up. I'll come back to the same exact spot, take one full stitch, and I can do that with the button or I can push the pickup button. And then I move away and now again, I have the bobbin here. Now, if I don't move away at this point, I'm not going to leave a very long tail for the next time when I start and stop my line of stitching and it will be difficult to pull it up. Like now, when I pull it up, the length of this tail corresponds to how far I moved away from it last time. So if you're finding yourself having a short little tail when you try to pull it up, then that means you need to move your machine further away when you end the previous stitching. I also want to share one more thing. If you are stitching along happily, you are, um, here we go, and your top thread breaks. So I just simulated a break. Now, what happened is that top thread kind of got sucked down in, and there's a length to it from the point of the break to when it got pulled down in. You have to remember also that your bobbin didn't break. So you're still attached. So if I come back here and just start stitching, all that bobbin thread that is down there right now that's attached will make a snarl. It will make an ugly snarl. So you've got to remember you always need to come back to this point of a break, pull up your bobbin thread, and make sure you have clean, sometimes you'll get like a little um, nest that gets pulled through here because it kept stitching while the thread was broken. Now I cut that off at the surface. Now I'm going to come back maybe three or four stitches beyond that because that didn't get secured. It didn't get secured because it was a break, not a start or a stop. So I'm going to stitch right over those stitches and by doing so it will secure the broken thread and now you'll have a clean start and stop. So I hope that helps you start and stop with a nice clean back.